Hello everyone, for today's video, we have here a Samsung Power Supply Board. We will try to repair this without a main board. The only thing that is used is a backlight strip that we will test to find out if the power board is okay and all the voltages that the circuits needed. This power board is used by Samsung model UA40J5000R and the power board number is BN4400851B. Okay, let's check. Our DVM is set to resistance. Fuse is open. Here in bridge diode, it's shorted. Both reverse and forward bias. Here on the main filter capacitor, it's shorted both forward and reverse bias. This diode is not shorted. Here we are in secondary. All secondary rectifier diode are OK. We are here at the bottom PCB. Checking this regulator output. MOSFET is shorted. Both forward and reverse bias. We will pull this MOSFET out to the PCB. Checking this MOSFET. This is the short, busted regulator output. The short circuit is gone. No short circuit on filter capacitor and bridge diode. Here is OK. Here is OK. The supply of this opto coupler comes from this IC. And this is the negative. We can't detect any shorted parts here.
So, that's it. We are going to replace this power regulator and the fuse. This value is to ask a 10 a 60 W, it's 10 ampere and 600 volts power MOSFET. We have here on my left a busted MOSFET, on my right is the 10 and 60 power MOSFET. Let's check. Well, it's still okay, I also got it from. My spare board. Let's just apply thermal paste first, for heat resistance. The pins need to be adjusted, so that the solder is stable. Replacing the fuse. Okay, fuse installed. For sure, before we plug it to AC line. In the meantime, I use isolation. Transformer for safety. 158.5 volts. Measured. Going to power MOSFET, it's 158.5 volts. The gate voltage is abnormal. The MOSFET will not trigger at this voltage. PWMIC reads only a 5.2 volts supply. Maybe there is a problem. On PWMIC, regular supply voltage for the IC is 14 volts. This is the feedback supply. We're here on secondary. Just watch the movement of the test probes and the reading on the tester. All red probe pointed to are diodes. So, there's no secondary voltages. These are the supplies to the mainboard. Okay, let's check the gate signal of the power MOSFET. No signal on the gate pin. We'll try to replace this PWM controller IC.
I will just remove this IC. Let's use solder paste to melt the lead immediately. So there. Cleaning the board before, install the new IC. Chalk first, so there's no mistake. Here in this part, let's just make sure that the soldering of IC is in order, as well as parts around it, and above all, a clean and non-stick soldering. Let's focus on the bridge diode, then let's plug in the AC cord. Alright, I pulled out the AC cord right away. I will now measure it at the terminal of the backlight driver board. If we measure something here, it means that the primary of power supply is oscillating. I will solder the backlight strip. When it's lit up, it means our 
Power supply board is complete. Here is the edge type of backlight strip. Now let's check the secondary supply. I will plug the AC cord. We have a light on our LED strip. We have a 4.5 volts DC on our secondary. Going to mainboard. And we have a 3.3 volts DC. We also have 12.8 volts DC here, it is almost 13 volts. This is the loaded supply for backlight. This supply is for our backlight, driver board. Twelve point eight volts going to the main board. We replaced this PWM controller IC because the primary has not to triggered and no feedback signal. Now we will see the actual voltage and signal here on the primary side. We can use this for future reference for this specific board BN forty four zero zero eight five one B and Samsung TV unit model, UA40J500R. And we have 14 volts here, PWM IC VCC. Also, flow through the optocoupler. And one of the most important for triggering function is a gate pin voltage of the power MOSFET, for this is 1.8 volt, Also, the waveform signal on the gate pin of the power MOSFET. This is the gate drive signal coming from IC. When the signal on the gate drive is not there, nothing can be measured by the other test point either. So that's it. That's all for our video. Thank you very much for your patronage on this channel. Until next time, bye.